What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at Trials of Osiris, it is back. We have a new map, some new loot and some incredible new flawless rewards. So if you want to find out everything you need to know about this weekend's event, be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And 85% of you aren't currently subscribed, so if you are new here or you want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Another weekend and Zer and Trials have returned. Now with the return of Trials of Osiris this season, we have some incredible new rewards to chase. These include some new weapons that Bungie have teased us. And as you can see here, this includes the Messenger Pulse Rifle, the Igneous Hammer Hand Cannon, and also Solar's Scar, which is a new legendary sword. Now each weapon will also have an adept version with special mods. And as well as this, they'll also have a special shader that can be applied to any adept weapon, even ones from Grandmaster Nightfalls. So if you're able to get a Shadow Price Palindrome or even a Swarm Machine Gun, you'll be able to apply that Adept Shader to those weapons too. Now it's not just new weapons that we have as part of this new Trials event, but we also have a new set of armor for each and every class. And as we can see here, they are some of the best looking armor sets that I've seen inside Destiny. And this will be the set of armor that we'll be chasing down this season. And finally, along with these new weapons and armor, Trials will have some new cosmetic rewards for us to show off too. Now we'll start off here with the Ghost. Now the drop chance here increases with every win and increases further still when you reach three, five and seven wins. And this is on top of the Flawless Milestone each week. Now as for the Ship and Sparrow, the drop chances for these increase every time you go flawless and these are some of the most ornate and best looking cosmetics that I've ever seen in a Trials event. So that's a wrap up of all the new loot that we'll be seeking out in Trials of Osiris moving forward. Now to kick off the event you first want to pay Saint-14 a visit over in the tower. Now here you'll be able to get your Trials passage but more importantly pick up a weekly bounty. Now the weekly bounty once you complete it will grant you a Trials engram so even if you aren't able to achieve three, five, or 7 wins on your Trials passage you can at least guarantee yourself a Trials engram which will provide you with loot from this week's event. Now with your passage and bounties in hand, it's time to jump into the event this week. Now the map this week is Altar of Flame. So we return to Mercury for this small crucible map in the first Trials of Osiris of Season 13. It's not a symmetrical map, but fully expect there to be a few sniper picks, especially between the blocks in the middle part of the map. Now the capture zone is in and around the B flag, so be sure to be aware of that and make your way to that area if games go down to the capture zone. Now huge shout out to Crucible Playbook for this callout map. I've left a link down below that includes the link to all the callout maps, so be sure to utilize that for this weekend's event. So we know what the new loot looks like, and we know what the map is, but what are the rewards what are the rewards for this weekend's event well for free wins this week you can get your hands on the messenger so this is the legendary kinetic pulse rifle reprised from destiny 1 now finds itself in destiny 2 it's brand new this season this one's a high impact frame so slow firing and deals high damage and the weapon is more accurate when you're stationary and aiming down sights now this has a power cap of 1610 and can have some pretty incredible roles things like rapid hit and zen moment in the middle column and in the final column you have things like one for all which was introduced last season Season. and uniquely on this weapon we have Desperado now this hasn't been seen since Redrix and this is where reloading after precision final blow will increase your rate of fire and on a high impact frame pulse rifle like this this is going to deal incredible amounts of damage and have one of the fastest time to kills in the game so get those teams together get that trials engram and get your hands on the brand new messenger now if you're able to achieve five wins on your trials passage this weekend you can get your hands on the tomorrow's answer this is a legendary power rocket launcher high impact frame so once again slow firing and high damage now with the launch of season 13 rocket launch has got a huge 30 percent damage buff so you see them a lot more especially out in the wild and this can have some pretty incredible roles things like impact casing tracking module and cluster bomb make this a very strong rocket launcher indeed so if you don't have one be sure to jump into trials this weekend but you'll need to get to five wins in total on your card in order to get your hands on one and if you can achieve seven wins on your trials passage this weekend you'll get your hands on the Exile's Curse. This is a legendary energy fusion rifle, so another weapon on the agenda this weekend. This one once again is also high impact frame. Pulse rifles still aren't in a great place inside Destiny 2 and to get your hands on the Exile's Curse you'll need to accumulate 7 wins on your Trials Passage. So if you don't have a good one and you seek one out be sure to get those teams together and give this one a try. And if you're able to achieve a flawless passage in this weekend's event you'll get your hands on the chess piece. So the chess piece is the first piece of Season 13 Trials armor available in Season of the Chosen. In order to get your hands on it though you will 
all need to go flawless in the first weekend of this event. It's some of the best looking Trials armor I've ever seen in any Trials event. So be sure to get those teams together and get yourself to the Lighthouse. Now, as far as the Adept mod, it seems as the Adept Icarus mod is available as part of the Flawless Chest 2. Now, this one improves accuracy while airborne and slightly increases your weapons range too by providing a plus 5 to that stat. Icarus Grip is one of the most popular mods anyway inside Destiny 2, so do your utmost to try and get your hands on the Adept version. So there we have it guys, that's a round out of the new loot available in Trials of Osiris, the map, the rewards and the flawless loot in the final chest. Now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below and share with your friends, that super helps me out here on the channel and as I said before nearly 85% of you aren't currently subscribed so if you are new here and you do want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but I will catch you all again very soon.